Okay, people. Let's get something straight. In the Trump hearings, some of his aides and whatnot are claiming that or stating that Trump said that he didn't care if he lost. He wasn't leaving the White House. And Trump is now saying that is moot because he ultimately left the White House. Let's get something clear. If I go out and I trespass on somebody's property, and I then that am asked to leave that property. And I claim I'm not leaving because this is public property. I have the right to be here. And I keep claiming that while somebody keeps telling me to get off the property. And they finally call the cops. And the cops come along and say, Ma'am, you need to leave or we're going to put you in jail. And I ultimately leave. That does not mean I cannot be prosecuted for trespassing. Because I was trespassing. I can still be given a ticket and prosecuted for trespassing. Now just because Trump ultimately left the White House after he was threatened with being removed by Capitol Police if he did not leave, does not mean that he did not trespass in the White House unlawfully after he lost the election and needed to evacuate the White House. So his point is not, that point is not moot. It is still just as strong as the day he stated he was not leaving the White House, that he was going to stay in power regardless of the fact that he lost the election. It's not moot. He had to be threatened to leave that White House. If he would have just packed his stuff and left, yeah, then that point would be moved. But he didn't do that. He was threatened first. So the point is not moved. So people, let's get that straight. Trump is trying all these acrobats to try and get out of trouble try and claim he did nothing wrong. He held that rally on the White House, near the White House grounds for the express purpose of having his supporters go to the White House to try and stop the counting of the elections, calling it the stop the steal. There was no steal. If you want to claim any kind of steal, let's talk about the 2016 election where Hillary Clinton won the popular vote, but the Electoral College voted for Trump. That was more of a steal than what happened during the 2020 election. The 2020 election... Biden won the popular vote and he won the Electoral College. So, Biden's election was more justified and fair than Trump's. But you didn't see any Democrats out there rushing the White House in 2016 trying to stop the steal, now did you? But you've seen it with Trump on a more fair freaking election. So Trump, all your points of, well, I ultimately left the White House are moot. You're ridiculous. 
You don't get a pass simply because you were forced to leave the White House with a threat. Because we all know that if it wasn't for that threat, you would have stayed sitting in that White House against the people's will. Because you don't care what the people wanted. You only care what you wanted. And you have showed that time and time and time again. Even as a president. When there was complaints about the tax breaks for the rich, one of the complaints was that Trump was going to benefit from it. And he claimed, oh no I'm not. Turns out he benefited by millions from it. And we knew that was going to happen. That's why the people didn't want it. Because Trump was passing a law or a benefit for himself. If he wanted to make sure that we could see that it wasn't for himself, then he should have signed over every last bit of his property. Every last bit of it. Completely signed it over. But he didn't do that. He had his little grubby fingers in his properties the whole time he was president. Defying the emoluments law. He had his children in the White House with him. Defying the emoluments law. Making sure that there was no nepotism. There was plenty of it. His children benefited from those positions of power. With contracts from Russia, contracts from China. But they want to talk about Hunter Biden. Who was never in the White House. Who went to work for Ukraine and who went to work for China. Regardless of the reason why they wanted him to work for them, doesn't mean that when he went to work for them, he was doing it in a corrupt way. He had no power in the White House. And as far as Biden threatening not to give aid to Ukraine until they got rid of their corrupt AG, that was not just Biden doing it. That was on the demand of not only Obama, but all of Europe. So Biden was doing nothing more than carrying out the wishes of his president and other leaders of the world. So stop your bullshit. Stop your twisting the lies. Actually, you're twisting the facts. Some of us out here are paying attention. And some of us are getting on the internet and we're telling the truth. Now, whether anybody wants to listen to it, that's another story. But some of us have been watching this from day one. And we know exactly what's going on. If you refuse to listen to it, that's your ignorance. Not ours. Because we've been paying attention. From day one that Trump won the, or the electoral college handed Trump the election against the people's will. I say Trump was not my president, but that doesn't mean anything. He was still president. He just wasn't my president. He disgusts me. He has since I was seven years old. I'm 59 years. I have been watching this man since I was seven years old. Do your math. How many years have I seen Trump's crooked corruption? His nasty behavior. His selfish actions.
Then he goes out there and he does The Apprentice. He did The Apprentice because he needed the money because he's a bad businessman. And he did the, the Apprentice because he needed to fix his reputation. That's the only reason why he did it. If he didn't need the money and didn't need to fix his reputation, he never would have stepped foot in front of the camera for The Apprentice. So get it straight. Trump likes to twist the facts. He knows how to twist the facts so that you can come out there and say, see, he's a good guy anyways. No, he ain't. He never has been. He's destroyed people's businesses, refusing to pay them. He's destroyed people's lives. His whole freaking life has been about his own privilege. And if you can't see that, then you're blind and you're not looking. Trump's point that he ultimately left the White House is not moot. You mean he ultimately was threatened to be forcibly removed, so he chose to move on, re leave on his own to save himself the embarrassment of being forcibly moved and from, to save himself from having the Capitol Police from looking into his boxes and seeing he was taking classified information with him. And that's the whole point. He never gave Biden the briefings he deserved before Biden entered office because he didn't de intend to leave the White House. If he intended to leave the White House, he would have given Biden the briefings he deserved as the newly elected president. But he didn't. Because he didn't intend on leaving the White House. And if he got a second term, you know darn well he would have fixed things so he got a third term, a fourth term, and became president for life. Just the way Putin did. Just the way Kim Jong-un did. Just the way many other dictators have done. So get it straight. Hitler even did it. So get it straight. Don't take Trump's bullshit as fact. If you can't do that, then you're not paying attention.